Concealed carry, being able to defend yourself and your family in a self-defense situation, it's great. And here in the, in the United States, it's becoming more and more popular. Um, and many people are joining the ranks of concealed carry holders. You know, there's so many different options out there, and I'm going to show you a few of those. But I'm going to show you something that I have just uh, found and I'm really excited about. I had a buddy of mine tell me, he said, hey, have you checked out? the concealment t-shirt. found a great source and so uh, I'm going to share that with you. I think you'll really like it. It's really nice to be able to just have a concealed carry right there uh, next to your side at all times. You know, summer's upon us. I like to wear shorts. I like to wear nice, comfortable, light clothes. And with that, a lot of times that doesn't go along with concealed carry. You know, wintertime it's very easy to be able to conceal your weapon. You know, you wear a coat, you wear a sweater, um, it just makes it easy. But in the summertime, I like to wear a lot of times shorts with elastic bands, and that does not really go along with a uh, waist holster. In fact, it'll drag your pants down to your ankles. So, um, you know, unless you're into that, uh, I'm not. <laughs> but I really was looking for something that I could just put on and be comfortable. You want to pull the gun, it's really simple. You want to get a good firm grip on the gun, and then when you pull it out, it keeps it from crossing your body, and that's very important. And so, you know, it's very accessible, it's easy in and also uh, easy out, so it's really a nice system. Now, what I want to show you, though, is the T. It, uh, it is really a simple system, which makes it even more uh, pleasing to me. But as you can see, the, the, the cotton shirt is 100% cotton, has a quilted 100% cotton uh, backing to the holster that gives you comfort and also keeps moisture off your body. Uh, and then there is a nylon holster that retains the gun itself. So as you can see, I can grab and then it's easy to pull out. So, and also very quiet. There are some that have straps and different things with Velcro. I don't really want to make a big loud Velcro noise when I'm pulling out my gun, but that's just me. Uh, but this holds it very secure. In fact, I've been wearing it uh, for quite a few days just to kind of get a good feel for it in different situations and it's just really comfortable. You forget it's on. Now I found this shirt on DelTechForce.com. I'll have a link in the sidebar. Uh, in fact, it was one of the best prices I found on these shirts. It was $32.95. Now there are some that have Cool Max and uh, you know, they have all these different systems where you have even magazines here, and they're running up into the 45 plus range, which is fine if that's what you want to carry. Uh, this specific t shirt, though, the concealment tee, was made even to fit under law enforcement vest, and uh, so it even gives a backup for law enforcement, which is really critical for those guys. But this is the concealment tee. Daltec, not only do they carry these, but he makes a line of really nice leather holsters that you want to check out. In fact, I've been eyeing about two or three of them. And so, um, you know, the one thing you want to do is, is have a good setup for your concealed carry. Make it as easy as possible. And, you know, you want to have no print. That's very important. And you need a really good holster. So, uh, you know, check out DaltechForce.com. Uh, I think you'll really like uh, what you see there. Now, I've just put together a few things, a few of my options. These, this is not the extent to uh, what I do carry, but this will just give you an idea. Of course, there is the holster inside the pants holster. There are also good clip holsters, which I do have. I just didn't have them available. Uh, here's a belt holster that rides up on your kidney, and that's really where you kind of want to wear a holster. Here's a neat pocket holster that um, you can slip it in your pocket and then it doesn't print that well. Printing is very important to avoid. Uh, here is a little ankle holster and um, it even has a clip, extra clip, belly band. This is a little money belt but I've also put a Beretta uh, 950 or 21 and can even fit this little Smith 642. But as you can see there are a lot of different options. What is the best? You know, sometimes I want to carry a larger pistol, if, especially if I'm going into a place or an area that um, I'm a little uncomfortable with. But a lot of times I opt to carry something lightweight. And these two are smaller in caliber and less effective than the larger pistols, but better than not carrying something at all. And also, during the summertime, it's more difficult to conceal the larger frame pistols in a concealed carry situation. Okay, here you go. I have a, just a regular cotton t-shirt on. 
Uh, you know, it has the layered look with the white. No big deal. I like that, actually. I wear that a lot. But, um, you know, no print. You know, a lot of states, you know, if you can see the gun, you can get your, you can get in some trouble just for them being able to see or tell that you're wearing a weapon. So it's very important that you keep the concealment factor to a major positive. Keep it where you can get to it. Now, the one thing about a t-shirt I really like is you just lift it up and then you can pull the gun out. Now, I want to talk a little bit about wear and tear. And on clothing, any clothing, it wears out after a while. Uh, with the reinforced cotton here it's going to hold up better than a lot of things but you're also carrying a weight here that's going to sag sooner or later uh, they say that it's about a two year life out of these shirts and that's carrying on a regular basis that's carrying all the time the larger the pistol you carry of course that's going to accelerate the wear on these shirts but as far as I'm concerned and I've had this now for a, a, a little while carrying it I've, it's been very comfortable and it's holding its form so it's just something you want to be aware of, but you know, really, for thirty-three dollars for two years, that's a, that's a that's a really low price to pay for the convenience of this system. Now, another really great feature of the concealment tee is being able to be seated. You know, that's one of the ways that you really print is bending over or when you're sitting down and the butt of the gun is sticking out. So with this, you can drive in a car very comfortably. Uh, if you're sitting like I am, I'm seated right now, it's really easy just to reach in and to pull it out. But it's also very, just very comfortable to wear and, uh, and not a lot of problems. You know, one of the things that's kind of a funny, but if you're at a family gathering or like for me at church, I'm a very affectionate person and a lot of times people come up and you know, give me a hug or whatever. It's one of the things that I've all, I'm very self-conscious about when I have concealed carry. And, uh, you know, especially at church, you want somebody to come up behind you and put their hand and go, go, whoa. Um, so, you know, this really gives you a good option to keep it under your arm, being able to kind of guard it. Uh, if, if you're that kind of person, you need to have different systems in your arsenal of holsters. <laughs> so uh, be sure to, uh, to make sure that way you have a lot of options. You won't leave your pistol at home. You're more out to take it with you. Check out DellTechForce.com. Uh, the concealment tee, thirty-two ninety-five. I mean, that's one of the best prices I found on any of the different styles that are out there. And also tell them that Such sent you because I sent Alex a couple of emails about his uh, T-shirt and told him that I was going to be doing a review on it. So just let him know that uh, I sent you just stuff uh, as a goodwill thing. And uh, also check out a lot of his other really cool leather holsters that he makes. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic.